Hello, I am Tata, and this is another unboxing and review. Yeah, I know the unboxings are cheesy and boring, but you know what? I like doing them, so. I am, I got today myself the Air Warriors, um, the Night Tech. The, the Air Warriors Ultra Tech Night Tech. A lot of words, big mouth. So without further ado, Oh, well, I guess I should tell you what it says unlocks. Um, so it's got a pop-up night vision scope. It is a six-start barrel. They do not rotate. They are stationary. Which I have no problem with. Uh, pump grip. The scope is back here. And it does indeed pop up. Pop-up scope. Uh, and it says... Uh, batteries are included, so when you pull the trigger halfway it lights up and all the way will fire the dart. I will be changing that because I don't like that feature. I'm going to change it to a flip switch. Uh, batteries load into the other side of the handle. I keep forgetting you guys can't see what I'm looking at. And it claims ranges up to 72 feet. Which I have a new way to test ranges now because I'm an idiot and didn't think of it before. Well I mean I did think of it I just never actually implemented it. Weird way to wrap these things around themselves. For those of you that don't know, I would actually been quite excited to get this blaster. Ah, only had to do two. Because uh, I'll dry fire it and put it close so you can hear. That was a wicked loud prime and that sounds so powerful. And nice time. Ah, Got to cut out the darts. Uh, it only comes with the six darts to fill at once, but I have plenty. And I plan on buying more. And in fact, from the website where I got my 100 pack of darts, I actually uh, just ordered a 100 pack of LEDs for $2. But it is a little bit of glue overlap. It's expected with Busby by now. Nice, nice tight fit. I mean, that is, that is an amazing fit. I believe it's a smart AR system. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure not all of, them, of, all of them fire at once, which I am going to keep it that way. Yeah, but these, oh man, so these barrels are just tight. That is awesome. Oh wow, oh yeah, that hits hard. So without further ado, or any further ado, and the scope looks kind of cool. I'm wearing glasses, so it kind of screws me up, but. Ooh, I like the glow. Crosshair is hard for me to see, but I like the glow. It's really cool. Sorry if I'm, if I'm, you know, I'm not really blinding you guys. Oh, I am. <laughs> that was on purpose. Yeah, but I, I really like the pop-up scope, but I need to move the switch to turn on the lights to a thumb button. And I believe this takes two AAAs. I don't know. Let me open it up. Screwdriver! A big orange one that kind of is my go-to. Uh, no, two double A's. Right? Or double A? Double A? Size double A. Yeah, two double A's. Nice. I have plenty of them. Uh, and a little bit of an update while we are right here. Alright. But, uh, yeah. Starting the painting process. Although I don't have enough paint to do anymore. I am basically out of primer and I don't have the colors I want to use 
So the rest of it will have to wait. And this little beauty used to be an RC car, which it still is. I know my hair's all frizzy. I just rode my bike. Leave me alone. And I didn't wear my hat. Um, it's going to get a paint job, much like my phone case, which is here. Ugh. If you can see that, I don't know how well you can, but yeah. My phone case is purple with uh, green splatter, and that's how I'm going to paint this. And I'm going to try and do some LED work to it and stuff, because it was, it was pretty cool. Not really like the fastest, but it was nice. And then I'm going to try and overhaul the, uh, the engine case for it and put a better motor inside of it. And that looks, that feels like it's a separate part, and looks like it too. But, let's get, okay. Before I go outside and range test it, because I'm pretty sure it's going to hit perfect ranges. Um, it's a little big for a sidearm. Can I see your hammer shot? Like, if you think about it, it's basically the same thing as a hammer shot. And the hammer shot is skinnier. And, um... Hammer shot is shorter. Uh, it's got this little lip down here that my pinky touches, but it definitely does not make it uncomfortable. Also, I am wearing two rings on that hand, so that does kind of space my fingers out just a tad. But in my right hand, it feels perfect. Very, very comfortable grip. Very smooth plastic. I really like that. And they even actually like kind of cut a channel for your pinky to go into, which is really cool. Uh, the grip is kind of small, but I mean you can pull it from the front, and you can deep prime it. Check that out. Look, watch. If I pull the trigger while holding it, you can actually deep prime this one. I like that. Good job, uh, Busby. That's sweet. It does have um some kind of like crazy iron sights for, I guess, playing in the daytime, but I don't really think those would work. Uh, I don't care for all this, like, digital camo or whatever it's supposed to be. It's just, it's just not my cup of tea. I like the smooth plastic better. I mean, I, li I like texturing, but I, I, not that kind of texturing. That just feels gritty. But yeah, it's a comfortable grit. I mean, and you could pump it easily enough. I'm actually going to let Sin pump it, because she's primed both my, she's primed every gun I own, so she can, she can tell how hard the prime is, better than I can, because I, ju I'm, I just pump it and it doesn't matter. Wow. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's one heck of a prime. And you can constantly pull it back mm -hmm. without any worries. And deep prime. So yeah, I mean you could continually. I mean you could probably slam fire it. No, you can't. No slam fire. Oh well, I'm not a big slam fire person anyways because it'll throw off your aiming. <laughs> yeah. So since I like this blaster so much, I'm very glad I bought it, but let's go outside and do some range tests after I do a little bit of work with uh, spray paint and tape measures. See you guys out there. All right, apparently my flash is on, so I'm blinding myself again. We are outside, and if she gives you a shot down range, I have two 24 foot, or two 12 foot tape measures. So that one, the second one, is between the 12 foot, or 24 foot and 36 foot mark. And then all the way to the house, I gauge it to be about 43 feet. So from standing here at the tree like I normally do, it's about a 43 foot distance to the house. I still have it loaded up with the Busby darts, and I plan on loading it up with the uh, Dart Zone Super Darts. Because I want to see if they, if any, there's any performance the difference. So we're just going to, I'm going to leave the scope up because, you know, what's the point of having it light up if you're not going to use it? I'm going to fire... I don't know, roughly chest height. Uh, that one, that one broke 24 feet. Okay, that was a very angled shot. That, that hit the tree. tree. Okay, so not that great, but then again, this probably doesn't have the best air seal and yada yada. 
So now reloading the darts. Oh my gosh, that gets so much harder to push them down the farther they go. Oh yeah. And that's all of them. And every single one of the the dart zone darts decided to break. Uh, every one of the dart zone darts easily broke 24 feet. A lot of a couple of them went over 36. So I guess that the type of dart actually really matters, but I mean I could probably do a lot of stuff to improve the air seal, put a more powerful spring in it, and make this thing a real monster. But right out of the box, if you have other darts, this thing's gonna be great. Because, I mean, the darts may suck, and it kind of sucks that no matter what position the thing is in, when you pull the trigger, it turns on. But, you know, it's cool. I like it. I'm glad I bought it. And now we go for a walk to see exactly where they ended up. Whee! All right, here's the 12-foot mark, as indicated by the black and the tape measure end um pretty sure i had a busby dart flop right out here somewhere maybe not i don't know i'm blind oh there's one uh yeah you can see it just just there and that just broke 24 feet and that was the, the, that was the worst busby here's one at 28 feet for the busby Another one, and these are where they started getting really angled. But now, if, right here, if you could see those green, that is the, those are two of the dart zone darts. There's one right over there. And there's one up there that actually broke uh, the, the greatest distance, basically, without an angled shot. There's actually one over on my side, too, that curved off really far. And then there's... Another one that, that flat shot it went all the way to the house, whereas the Busby shot only got to the house with a really high angle. So that is that. Um, I will meet you guys inside for the final thoughts and, well, I guess a little bit of a chat. I don't know. All right, we are back in our safety zone, which means outside. Or inside. So... I am now looking for that video that I just recorded, which is right there. Sweet. Okay, so final thoughts on the Busby Ultra Tech Night Tech. Um, with the Busby darts, not exactly as powerful as they claim but with the off-brand enforcer darts it i mean it just blew me away like i mean it was all, i didn't even have to angle it to get those massive shots whereas with with these i had to really angle them so i think with like standard elite darts and stuff like that this will outperform most um sidearms but of course i haven't tried them all um we all know how i feel about this if you've seen my other videos, hammer shot, not my cup of tea. Let me turn this a little bit to me. If a hammer shot is not my cup of tea, um, I quite like the grip on the Night Tech more. I wish I could prime it differently, but, you know, that's something that, that will come with modding time. But I'm pretty sure I could add a much more powerful spring into that, even though that prime is ridiculously hard as it is. And those are really bright LEDs. I wish you guys could see exactly how bright this is here. Hold on to this. See, that, that's the LED light flashing on the wall behind me. Yeah, those are powerful. That is awesome. And of course you don't need it up to operate the gun, which is cool. But they, they still give it a good glow effect, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, uh, I buy it. If you see it and you want a sidearm, and you like 
front loading, um, not a bad gun. Uh, obviously we'll need a little bit of modding to make it really up there or just use different darts. So yeah, goodbye I think. And I like how it fires around and it doesn't actually rotate. I think that's kind of cool because it acts like a revolver without actually revolving. So, Although it's got a little bit of play so you might be able to make it revolve. Although I don't know why you would want to. You might screw something up. But by far my favorite feature, pop-up sight. Like, that's awesome. Those are bright LEDs. It lights up. Like if I cover these up, it lights up the inside too because there's a clear plastic piece in there. So it actually lights up the sight, which is really awesome. So I think I've rambled enough. Um, show your love and support. You know, help me out. Help me get some uh, paints to do this. And obviously, you know, finish my... Ooh, that actually looks kind of good. Gun, uh, gray. Maybe I got a, a. Maybe if I get a gunmetal gray, I could do the gray pieces that color. I found out that Busby has a version of this that is twenty nine dollars or uh, nineteen dollars, nineteen ninety nine. But it only, um, it only has twenty darts that come with it and the twenty round thing. So I don't think it would it would really compete with that because that actually really blew away my expectations. This kind of fell short, but with the other darts, it just felt great, so. And plus, it's a sidearm. It's not, I'm not tr going to be trying to lob darts, you know, and, and pick people off with it. You get close to me, I'm pegging you. <laughs> I mean, you get close, I'm guaranteed to hit you. I got six shots. Do not mess with me. Um, and for those of you that are interested, I am planning on trying to do some sort of Nerf community thing up here in New York where I live. So if you live anywhere near you, New York or the Mohawk Valley, which is, or, or more specifically the Mohawk Valley, which is in central New York, let me know. We, I'll try and meet up with you at some point. You know, there's like Burger King and McDonald's and Arby's and stuff around me. So, you know, if you guys want to do some Nerf stuff, let's go. I, I, I don't have anybody to do it with anymore, but I'm doing it because I like it. So, now I'm going to crack it open and take a look at the internals, and I will see you guys later.